today, I built a rocket, sent it to space, and then landed it on the moon and other planets. Yes, this is actually not a joke. Since this game is hard and I'm not like a NASA scientist or anything, I had to look into it before so I kind of know how to do it. Like anyone else that has common sense, I decided to land on the moon first, so this is the rocket that I pre-built, that way I don't have to build it here, that would take 10,000 years. So here's the rover, I got it inside the fairing, it'll launch out and land. Here's the three-stage rocket, here's the boosters and everything, the thrusters. There's 3,200 tons of thrust, I think that should get me up to speed. Alright, time to launch the rocket. Hopefully it's not too big, hopefully it doesn't crash my phone. Alright, let's go. I think I have enough liquid fuel to pass the Carmen line. I think this is a pretty slow rocket though, it's really big. Now I gotta do some maneuvers, it takes ages to get into Earth orbit, I swear. I don't even know if you can call that an orbit, but I think it's good enough. This is the worst orbit I've ever seen around a planet ever. I'm in the transfer window. I don't know why it's so hard for me to get in an orbit around the planet. It's not like it's rocket science or anything. Well, I mean, well, it kind of is rocket science, but I mean, it's not like simplified rocket science. Reach high Earth orbit, what do you mean? Oh, all right, that's perfect. My trajectory should be right on the moon. Yep, it is. Um, for beginners, if you're wondering how space travel works, you don't actually just thrust your way through space. You don't use your thrusters. That's not how it works. You use the planets and you gain gravitational assists and it, you kind of like use the planets gravity as like catapults. So it's pretty cool. You know, the moon should be visible by now. Let's see if we can see it. Oh, there it is. It's pretty small. I'm still pretty far away. Alright, let's get a little bit closer. Whoa! Okay, I didn't mean to get that close. Alright, I'm only like 9,000 meters above the surface. Oh god. Okay, I gotta slow down. I really need to slow down. I'm gonna crash land if I don't slow down. Alright, I'm going up now, so let's still, I, I don't need to go any more up, so I think it's about time that I separate the boosters. Alright, so I got the fairing off, let's do that, it's clear debris, that way that thing's not stuck there, and then get whatever this is off. Alright, here's the lander, let's see if I can get this to land. Gotta slow down, let's not crash into the moon, that would not be very good. Pretty close to it. Let's, I'm going up, I'm going up at like 18 meters per second. Let's fall, please, for the love of God, just fall down. Almost there. Gotta keep falling and activating the boosters. Alright, almost there. Alright, there we go. That was a pretty soft landing. Alright, now let's get the rover off. Let's go land it somewhere, not here, because that giant tower of boosters is gonna block me. So let's go ahead and move over here. land. Why? Well, okay. I'm, it's moving to the side a little bit. Alright, it's fine. Still got it. Let's get the boosters off, and there we go. Let's get the solar panel out. I don't really think I need it very much, and let's clear degrees. Alright, so now I have a rover on the moon. Just gonna drive around a little bit. don't really think there's anything to explore here. The moon is pretty futureless. I mean, I'm in that, I'm, I think I'm in a dark spot of Maria. I can't tell. Alright, so I made a rocket that actually does not look like it was built by a toddler. I think this one looks a bit better. It's got two side boosters on it, and here's the main rover. I actually want it to fly, so it's gonna have two parachutes on it. It's gonna have landing legs. It still has wheels in case it needs to drive. It's got a fairing with a heat shield. We need a heat shield this time because Mars actually has an atmosphere, unlike the moon, so I don't want it to disintegrate in its atmosphere. And here's the main booster. I'm actually not really gonna activate this till I get up in Earth's atmosphere. That way I can orbit the Earth easier. Alright, let's launch, and I'm actually going to activate the main boosters just so I can get up the speed a bit quicker, and then I'll turn them off in a second, and then I'll turn them back on when I'm above Earth's atmosphere and I pass the Karma line and everything like that. Alright, now we turn that off, and then we do that. Alright, so the main booster will still have some fuel, that way we can get into Earth orbit faster. Because obviously if you want to go to a different planet, the first step is to get into Earth orbit. So let's start that process right here like this. I am now in Earth orbit, so let's go find Mars. Here's Mars, navigate to, and now the transfer window is all the way over there, yay, great. After a half hour of time warping and another half hour of turning my rocket all the way around, we're in the transfer window. Then I took another half hour to actually get to Mars. I adjusted my trajectory on Olympus Mons. We took another half hour! The reason this takes a half hour is because if you actually want to get through Mars's atmosphere, you have to use your heat shield to slow you down, but the only way to actually slow yourself down is to go through the atmosphere sideways, that way your heat shield can slow you down to a good enough rate to where you can deploy your parachutes and actually land. Alright, here we go. 
let's see if this heat shield can survive. Alright, let's do that. Alright, clear the breeze. Let's see how this goes. off something blew up what was that i don't think it was anything of importance thankfully so let's keep following get these landing legs ready i think we're gonna be fine this should be pretty soft just to be sure it's gonna be a soft landing let's activate these to slow me down and there's the surface we're right here and landed all right so we we landed let's turn on the rover wheels okay we can't drive let's put these landing legs up and i should just be able to yep that worked Alright, I don't think I'm actually on the volcano. Let me see. Olympus Mons is the largest volcano in the solar system, so it should be pretty easy to see. Yeah, there it is. It's to my left. I'm not there. <laughs> 